So let's just talk about, you know, we had a great conversation about transformation. We had a great conversation about how that's disrupting workflow and different skill sets required and you know, transient uh, teams moving perhaps even across companies mm -hmm. and work changing across the globe. For this audience here that, that is that predominantly project managers, program managers, folks that get stuff done, you know, um, they see, and I see, you know, a lot, some of these changes are going to seriously impact how PMI goes forward into the future too. And we're spending a lot of time obviously thinking about that. You know, starting with you, Professor, what would be the four or five pieces of advice that you would give this audience and me as I think about how PMI is going to stay relevant in the future? Got it. Um, let me engage the audience and ask the following question. Um, how many of you in the past three years have worked on a, a, a change project in your organization currently is working on a change project or in the next few years expect to work on a project that requires substantial amount of change. Please raise, raise your hand. So you see about 90, mm -hmm. almost 99% of the audience, right? Mm -hmm. uh, another question I have is how many of you in the audience consider yourself as middle level manager? Raise your hand. Middle level manager. Okay, about, <laughs> not you. <laughs> So about 50%. All right. So let me just share with you. Uh, I, I've spent the last 25 years spending seven. Those, are, those mm -hmm. people who know me, this is my passion. It's really mm -hmm. the field of change and transformation. I want to start with some bad news, if I may, and then later I'll give you some good news. The bad news is 70% of these transformations fail, every study mm -hmm. that we've done. Mm -hmm. and number two, another bad news is global surveys of... Uh, a Gallup poll around the world shows that 85% of employees around the world are completely disengaged. They're either sleepwalking at work or they are sabotaging the work. So only 15% are really inspired. Now the numbers are better in the US, it's about 25-30% really engaged. But still, this is really bad. If this, this doesn't shock you, I don't know what would. Number one uh, issue in the mind of CEOs, a Wall, a Wall Street Journal article, it says that is transformation, okay? Mm -hmm. Nearly $900 billion were, was wasted in transformation last year, especially digital transformation. So this is not good for our organization, and this is also not good for humanity. Um, I would like to talk about how, as program managers, you can actually uh, become change agents and become uh, really a, a leader in your organization to make sure your transformation succeeds. And let me just tell you, based on a thousand transformations that I've studied, also hundreds of companies mm -hmm. that I've coached in the past 25 years, what really works. What really works is that just about every great transformation that I have studied, they put employee engagement at the center of what they do. So it's time that we, do, we, we work on transformation and have employee as the center of the mm -hmm. transformation. Rather than armies of outsiders coming to the organization and trying to change, we want you guys, we want armies of volunteers, we want armies of change agents within the organization to be the author of change. And, and, and so the, the, biggest, the biggest lever, if you will, the person who has the central nervous system of the organization that often helps me in this transformation is a program management, director of program management, and people like you, which I rely on heavily. Secondly, those of you who are middle-level managers, I really believe it, it is a global treasure for innovation. And if we, and I've written an article in Harvard Business Review about how we can actually mm -hmm help middle-level managers to reach their full potential because some of the issues Bikram is talking about, it's really salient. And, and middle-level managers are going through a lot of pressure, both getting pressure from the bottom and also pressure from the top and so forth. So um, there are a lot, this is a huge opportunity, if you will, to get involved. I really believe that this is where it could be, it could be a personal journey, personal transformation journey. And I like to, uh, you know, suggest that all of you think about how can you become a better agents of change in your organization through your own personal transformation, through connecting the outside of the world and ecosystem and customer into the organization, mm -hmm. and what's, what's important in your inside to where the organization is going 
I believe through that you will reach, not only you reach your full potential, but there is no limit in terms of the fulfillment that you will achieve in this journey. Wow, fantastic. Very well articulated.